Hey, cuties! With the current reprint, Summer River Adventure, breathing its last, Life Hunters has left us with one of the pickups of all time. But how large of a splash do they make? <laughs> the Keeper of the Dungeons takes your hand to bring you to a quiet spot away from the festival lights. Furufumi Sparkler offers a faint, beating glow, boosting your damage and charge meter that depletes an amount, range, and reliability over time. The sight of these humble fireworks may charm distant observers and warms Furufumi's heart to make them feel renewed. This gentle show can encourage your team in both farming and challenges, but with much subduel. Look elsewhere if you want something louder and flashier. This jackal-like admirer psychs up his fellow surfers as their wingman, ensuring those he surfs by can strike a pose twice and safely tank any flounders. Occasionally, Seth can even collide with competitors, reducing their momentum while denying them any style they've been working on. His exclusive use is for a refreshable double attack with extended movement, but with near a lot of existing now, it may be a hard sell to ever use this wannabe again. Having given his best all these years, Big Bro deserves a break. The wood sprite of Mirai Kanai is fiending to prank curious onlookers approaching him. Between disabling the skills and movements of crowding seekers, and denying any counter pranks with resistance to damage and displacement, Gijimuna is a handful to play against. These resistances combined with his broad attribute advantages, multi-rollable heal, and high uptime damage evading charge skill roots his place in the battlefield as a devastating trap. Strong use and challenges in the right team, but undermined by the many setups that proactively provides what he offers. Gijimuna fits well with the silliest of summoners. What are your orders, Captain? Shall we execute our standard play, where you dispatch one of us closer to the center of battle while giving them the equipment needed for improved mobility? I'll take that role this time then. Hear that, fellow summoners? Jiro is going to be taking point again, identifying the weaknesses among the opponent's ranks and sabotaging their mobility while setting the stage for us to boost our damage, defense, and skill rates. While the staple plan has some holes in its reliability, the broad range of his tactics is something you can count on for general strength in all content for all map sizes. Alright, Jiro. Ready to drill us in for the next several hours? The last topic here has been covered before, so here's how he fares. No evos. Some decent picks, but nothing phenomenal enough to rescue a stone horde. And that's all for now, cuties. Catch you next time!